Minitize technique in the management of mandible fractures. Minitize were invented and developed at the University of Minnesota. The devices are long members that feature a needle at the tip of the device and a clasp at the end. The devices can be looped upon themselves and form a secure loop as shown here. A demonstration of how the devices loop upon themselves is shown now. The needle segment of the device features a blunt tip needle which prevents needle stick injuries. The device forms a strong secure loop that can be easily tightened but will not loosen. When used as a set, these devices can establish maxillomandibular fixation in a minimally invasive fashion. A kit includes a series of ties and a cheek retractor. These can be applied using a simple needle driver and a Minnesota retractor. A cheek retractor is placed in the mouth as shown. The devices can be interlaced between the teeth as shown in the picture. The end result is maxillomandibular fixation. Here we use a plastic skull to model how these devices are applied to a mandible that is fractured in the left parasympathial and the right angle regions. A device can be applied in a tension band or bridle wire style fashion as shown in the video here. The device can stabilize the fracture by securing two adjacent teeth to each other near the fracture. The devices can also be used sec to secure the upper dentition to the lower dentition by placing the devices in the apical embrasure between teeth and looping the device from the upper dentition to the lower dentition prior to securing the device in the clasp. The devices in the left and right dentition must be fully applied prior to placing the patient's teeth into occlusion. Here the surgeon applies a balanced number of ties on the left and the right. The devices come in different widths to accommodate the differing spaces between teeth. The devices can be 0 0.5, 0 0.7, or 1.0 millimeters thick, which compares to roughly 18, 20, and 22 gauge wire dimensions. Once in occlusion, the devices can be cinched to secure the maxillomandibular fixation. Once the devices are fully applied, the excess ties can be cut flush with the surface of the clasps. The complement of devices have formed a low profile, minimally invasive form of maxillomandibular fixation. Here is an example of a patient who sustained bilateral mandible fractures that were secured using internal fixation as well as mini ties for maxillomandibular fixation. The patient had a flail segment of his mandible and two step-offs between his mandibular dentition, as shown in the pictures. First, mini ties were applied in a bridal wire style fashion to reduce the fractures. Standard mucosal incisions were made to further visualize the reduction of the fractures. Next. Maxillomandibular fixation was achieved by looping the devices through the maxillary dentition and the mandibular dentition and later securing the devices as shown in the previous demonstration. The parasympathial fracture was plated with standard technique using titanium plates. The mandibular angle fracture was also plated with standard technique. The incisions were closed and the devices were removed. The patient was allowed to open and close his jaw postoperatively. 
the patient reported normal occlusion and has made a full recovery. The post-operative CT scan shows good reduction of the fractures and return of premorbid occlusion. Many ties have effectively created maxillomandibular fixation in patients with unilateral mandible fractures, bilateral mandible fractures, and uncomplicated displaced Lefort fractures. Clinical testing has been performed in a feasibility trial at Altru Health System. These devices are still awaiting FDA clearance and further testing is planned. All testing done to date has been conducted under Institutional Review Board approval at All True Health System.